The Marriott Bonvoy Bevy and the Marriott Bonvoy Brilliant are currently offering all-time high welcome offers, potentially worth over $1,000 in value. So today we'll do a full review of both to see if they're valuable cards worth keeping or if their high annual fees don't quite outweigh the benefits they offer. We'll also compare them to other similar hotel credit cards since you want to very carefully choose between Marriott credit cards. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name's Ethan and let's get started. First up, looking at the Marriott Bonvoy Bevy, we have a 155000 point welcome offer after spending $5,000 on the card in the first six months. Marriott points are typically valued at 0.8 cents per point, meaning this all-time high welcome offer is worth over $1,200 in value. This is a limited time offer, so you want to jump on it pretty quickly if you want to get this card. Looking at the pros and cons of the Marriott Bonvoy Bevy, the card comes with a $250 annual fee, but it earns six points per dollar spent at Marriott properties, four points per dollar on US supermarkets and worldwide restaurants on up to $15,000 in combined spend per year, and 2x points on everything else. The card also comes with a very valuable free night certificate worth up to 50,000 points. And again, valuing Marriott points at 0.8 cents per point, that could be around $400 in value. And it could be used at properties like the Sheraton New York Times Square Hotel, although you might need to top off this certificate with up to 15,000 Marriott points to stay here. You could also stay at the Waikiki Beach Marriott Resort and Spa in Honolulu, Hawaii, the JW Marriott Cancun Resort and spa in Mexico and the JW Los Cabos Beach Resort and Spa in Mexico. The Bonvoy Bevy will also get you complimentary Marriott Gold status, which will get you room upgrades and 2 p.m. late checkout. Plus, you'll get 15 Elite Night credits towards status every year just for holding this card, which can help you earn status with Marriott much faster. While I do really like this welcome offer and the value from the free night certificate, I have to say some of the other Marriott cards can give you comparable value for a lower annual fee. So it's worth comparing the Bevy to some of those other Marriott cards. The most obvious card to compare the Bevy to is the Chase version of the card, which is the Marriott Bonvoy Bountiful. These are almost identical cards with the Chase card having slightly better earning categories, but a significantly worse welcome bonus with only getting 85,000 Marriott points after $4,000 was spent in the first three months. So I would probably go with the American Express Bevy over the Chase Bountiful. However, one Chase credit card that is definitely worth comparing it to is the Chase Marriott Bonvoy Boundless card. The card has just a $95 annual fee and a fantastic welcome offer of getting five free night certificates worth up to 50,000 points each after spending $5,000 on the card in the first three months. You'll still get an anniversary free night certificate with this card, but it'll only be worth up to 35,000 Marriott points every year. And it comes with Marriott Silver status. The welcome bonus on the Boundless is just so good. I think it's worth considering over the bevy. And if you don't want a high $250 annual fee, the Boundless is probably the way to go. However, there's another American Express Marriott credit card that might be an even better alternative. The American Express Marriott Bonvoy Business credit card has a $125 annual fee, but it has a great welcome offer of five free night certificates after spending $8,000 on the card in the first six months. Valuing Marriott points at 0.8 cents per point, this is around $2,000 in value. Plus, you're still going to get a free Marriott certificate worth up to 35,000 points, and you'll get Marriott Gold status. So I think it's a pretty compelling alternative if you can qualify for business credit cards. I'd strongly consider the Marriott Bonvoy Boundless or the Marriott Bonvoy Business credit cards if you're looking for a lower annual fee. And if you're looking for higher status with Marriott and a better free night certificate, you could go with the Bevy, but you can get even better benefits with the next card we'll compare, which is the American Express Marriott Bonvoy Brilliant. By the way, if you'd like to learn more about any cards that I mentioned in this video, I will have links down in the description below. Those links help support my channel, make it possible to create this content for you. And by the way, thank you so much to all of you who do use my links. Now, moving on to the Marriott Bonvoy Brilliant, we have another massive welcome offer of 185,000 points after spending $6,000 on the first six months of holding the car. This could easily be worth over $1,400 in value, and it is a limited time offer. But there's a lot going on with the Marriott Bonvoy Brilliant, so let's look at some of the benefits and features of the car. The biggest downside to the Marriott Bonvoy Brilliant is that it comes with a hefty $650 annual fee, but it does come with quite a bit of value that could pretty easily offset that annual fee. The card has almost the same earning multipliers as the bevy and you'll earn six points per dollar spent at marriott properties three points per dollar at restaurants and flights booked directly with airlines and 2x on everything else and you get a very nice 300 dollars dining credit that comes in the form of 25 dollars monthly statement credits 
but it can be applied to restaurants worldwide. You also get a very valuable anniversary free night award worth up to 85,000 Marriott points. That's worth around $680 and can be used at properties like the Ritz Carlton Georgetown in Washington, DC, the Mauna Kea Beach Hotel in Hawaii, and the Westin in Tokyo, Japan. The Brilliant also gives you platinum elite status with Marriott, which would normally take 50 nights stayed at Marriott properties in a year. And having that status will give you enhanced room upgrades, including suites, a welcome gift at Marriott properties, which could be points, breakfast, or an amenity, 4 p.m. late checkout, and guaranteed lounge access at participating properties. And you'll also get 25 elite night credits towards Marriott status every year you hold this card. Another potentially valuable benefit with the Marriott Bonvoy Brilliant is unlimited complimentary Priority Pass Airport Lounge Access for you and up to two guests. This normally sells for $469 on the Priority Pass website. And if you've never experienced airport lounge access, it makes the airport experience so much better. Usually you get free food and snacks, as well as a nice place to sit and relax or get some work done because you often get better Wi-Fi as well. And I personally value this benefit a lot because of how much money I save on expensive airport food for my family. The Brilliant also gives you up to $100 in statement credits towards a global entry or TSA pre-check membership. And the Marriott Bonvoy Brilliant will also get you free in-room premium internet access. Now sharing my thoughts on this card, I'm someone who normally tries to avoid annual fees as much as possible. And as much as I don't like this high annual fee, the benefits that it offers are pretty compelling. Between the $300 dining credit and the 85,000 point free night certificate every year that's probably worth over $680 in value, you can pretty easily offset the annual fee. Plus platinum status and priority pass airport lounge access are very valuable as well. So I do have to say this is a very compelling card, especially if you stay at Marriott Properties a lot, and it's a really good time to pick up the card because of the all-time high offer. But it's probably most ideal if you're a Marriott loyalist or if you just like the welcome bonus and you want to try this card out for a while to see if it's worth it. But if you're considering the Marriott Bonvoy Brilliant, you should also look at some other top tier hotel credit cards so you know if you're getting the best deal possible. And the main alternative with top tier status and lots of benefits is the American Express Hilton Aspire. Currently, the Aspire has a 150,000 point offer after spending $6,000 on the card in the first six months. Hilton points are typically valued at 0.5 cents per point, meaning that's around $750 in value. The Hill Inspire comes with a lower annual fee at $550 every year, and you also get Hilton Diamond status, which is Hilton's top tier status. Diamond status will get you free breakfast, room upgrades, premium Wi-Fi, and executive lounge access. With this card, you'll also get a free night certificate every anniversary year that can be used at almost any Hilton property, and that could easily be worth $1,000 or even more at resorts like the Waldorf Astoria in the Maldives, where nights can go over $3,000, the Waldorf Astoria Los Cabos Pedregal in Mexico, and the Waldorf Astoria Gran Wailea in Hawaii. Since it can be used at almost any Hilton property, it's probably the most valuable free night certificate of any hotel brand. The Hilton Aspire earns 37 points per dollar spent at Hilton properties between the card earning, being a member, as well as the Hilton diamond status that you earn with the card. And with Hilton points being valued at about 0.5 cents per point, that breaks down to earning about 18.5% on your spend at Hilton Properties, which is slightly better than what the Brilliant earns at Marriott Properties, which is 21 points per dollar, which comes out to about 16.8% back on your spend. And the Aspire also comes with $400 in Hilton credits. So now that we've done a full comparison on a bunch of hotel credit cards, I wanna give you my thoughts as well as some tips for getting approved for the Marriott Bonvoy Bevy and the Marriott Bonvoy Brilliant. I would say if you're looking for a great welcome offer, more status and benefits with Marriott, and free night certificates with Marriott, Either the Bevy or Brilliant are great options, with the Brilliant having a lot more upside with the Priority Pass Airport Lounge Access and a much higher free night certificate. But if you can't justify a higher annual fee, the Bevy could be a great option, but there are other really good Marriott options out there like with the Chase Marriott Bonvoy Boundless or the Amex Marriott Bonvoy Business Card. And keep the Hilton Aspire in mind if you want a top tier hotel status with a slightly lower annual fee, but a very flexible free night certificate. I have a hard time recommending just one of these options, but if I was a Marriott loyalist, I would go with either the Bevy or Brilliant, depending on my annual fee tolerance. And if I wasn't loyal to Marriott, I'd probably go with the Aspire 
or one of the lower annual fee Marriott cards, depending on my annual fee tolerance. Now, in order to get approved for the Marriott Bonvoy Bevy or Marriott Bonvoy Brilliant, there are some important rules around Marriott credit cards that you need to be aware of. In order to get approved for either, you cannot currently hold or have received a welcome bonus from any of the currently publicly available Chase Marriott credit cards in the past 24 months. Marriott has all sorts of complicated rules around which credit cards you can get depending on the cards you've had in the past. And basically you want to choose either the Amex credit cards or the Chase credit cards in a two year period. If I was a Marriott loyalist, I would probably go with the Amex credit cards, but the welcome bonuses and card benefits are worth trying out for anyone who's looking to get some travel value. By the way, if you'd like to learn more about lower annual fee hotel credit cards, I did a deep dive into the $95 annual fee hotel credit cards, and you should definitely check that out. But let me know what you think of the Marriott Bonvoy Bevy and the Marriott Bonvoy Brilliant. Are they worth it? But that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.